For this activity, we're going to test common materials to identify those that conduct electricity and those that do not. Put a check mark in the box for those materials that conduct electricity and those that do not. Our control for this activity is going to be copper tape. We know that the copper tape conducts electricity. I've set up a simple circuit here on my board. It's the same one that we've done with our paper circuit. I've got my LED bulb here, my battery, my two copper tapes. When I touch these two wires together, the circuit is closed and the LED bulb lights up. That's how we're going to know if the material conducts electricity or if it does not. We're going to start with our control material, which is copper tape. We know that copper tape will conduct electricity. So if I place one end of a wire here and the other here, that closes the circuit and that causes the LED bulb to light up. So for our control, we've already filled in the check marks in that box, check mark in that box because we know copper tape is going to conduct electricity. Next, let's try a piece of paper. We're going to put a piece of paper down here on the board. We're going to put our one end of our wire on the paper. Here, let me pull these back so you can see. Okay, we'll put one end of the wire on the paper and the other end of the wire on the paper. Does, does the bulb light up? Does the circuit close? Does paper conduct electricity? It does not. The light bulb is not lit, so we're going to check off. Does not conduct electricity. Go ahead and do that. A piece of tin foil. Does tin foil conduct electricity? Wire here, wire here. The LED bulb lights up. Tin foil conducts electricity. Check that off in your data table. A drink can. Put a drink can here in the middle of the board. We're going to put wire on one side, wire on the other side. The drink can does not conduct electricity. Now, the drink can is metal. I wonder if it's the paint that's on the side that's causing it not to conduct electricity. So I'm going to put the wires on the top of the can this time. Nope. This metal does not conduct electricity. Some metals do not conduct electricity or do not conduct electricity very well. So we're going to check off drink can does not conduct electricity. A juice bag. I don't have a juice bag with me unfortunately so we're going to skip that. We're going to skip steel wool. I don't have steel wool either. Plastic wrap. Piece of plastic wrap that you might use to cover your food at home. Okay. Plastic wrap. Wire. Wire. Wires touching. Is the LED bulb lighting? It is not. Plastic wrap does not conduct electricity. Let's go ahead and scratch out steel wool and juice bag just so we're make sure that we're staying on track. Plastic wrap does not conduct electricity. Let's take a similar material, a baggie. Let's see if a baggie will conduct electricity. Connect, connect. The LED bulb does not light. Let's check our control just to make sure everything is, yep, okay. A baggie does not conduct electricity. How about a towel? Let's throw a towel in there. One of my little shop towels. Okay, a towel. Connect, connect. The LED bulb does not light. A towel does not conduct electricity. Let's check that off. T-shirt. What do you think? You think a t-shirt's going to conduct electricity? If the towel didn't, what do you think the t-shirt's going to do? Connect, connect. LED bulb is not lighting. A t-shirt does not conduct electricity. Let's check that off. T-shirt does not conduct electricity. 
a pencil. A pencil. Does a pencil conduct electricity? Connect? Connect? The pencil does not connect electricity, conduct electricity. Let's try a couple other things on the pencil just because there's different parts. So that I connected to the actually the painted wood. Let's try the metal tip of the pencil. Let's see if we touch it on either side. Nope. That metal tip on the pencil does not conduct electricity. Again, another metal that's not conduct ele conducting electricity or conducting it well enough to light that bulb. How about the eraser? One side to the eraser, the other side to the eraser. Nope, the eraser doesn't. Let's try the wood of the pencil. Put that there, that there. No conductivity. How about the lead of the pencil? You see I've, I've shaved off and exposed the lead of the pencil. It's actually not lead, it's graphite. Let's see if that graphite will conduct electricity. Whoa, how about that? So graphite in a pencil does conduct electricity. And that is not conducting electricity. Let's give it some more. Let's give it some more graphite. The pencil line is not conducting electricity. I've done this before where it has. I think it's because my wires are too long. But we can check that graphite in the pencil again and see that, yep, the graphite's conducting electricity, just not when we draw the pencil line. So we're going to check off pencil line as a no. Does not conduct electricity. Paper clip. Strangely, I could not find a paper clip, uh, so we're going to cross that off and skip that one. Penny, nickel, dime, and quarter. Penny, nickel, dime, hip, oh, stay in order there, and quarter. Okay? We'll do all four, one right after the other, and then we'll mark them off. So a penny. Does a penny conduct electricity? Yes. Does a nickel conduct electricity? Yes. Does a dime conduct electricity? Yes. And does a quarter conduct electricity? Yes, it does. So we'll go over here and we'll check off. Oops. Sorry, guys. Let me adjust that. And, okay. Pencil line, no. Pencil, yes. Paper clip, don't have it. Penny, yes. Nickel, yes. Dime, yes quarter yes dollar I don't have so scratch it off but because we used paper before and determined that paper does not conduct electricity we can't test it so we're not going to mark it we're just going to scratch it out a ruler I couldn't find a ruler came up with the next best thing here's a comb it's the same plastic as a ruler okay so made from the same kind of plastic and I'm just going to turn it this way let's see if a plastic comb we're going to substitute that for a ruler, will conduct electricity. It does not. It does not conduct electricity. So over here where it says ruler, we're using a different object. The ruler does not conduct electricity. Plastic does not conduct electricity. Water. How about water? I'm going to pour in some salt. Remember Salt dissolves in water, and the way we can speed that process of salt dissolving in water, one of the ways is by stirring. And so I've stirred the water. Now the water's still cloudy. There are small, tiny particles of salt still in there. Let's try water with salt mixed in. Did you notice something? Look closely at the light. Water does conduct electricity. Next item, a banana. A banana. Well, that's weird. Why would we test a banana? Well, let's test the banana skin. Nope. Let's open the banana up. Let me 
There we go. Take some of that skin off. Banana. Choo. Put the clip in there. Put the clip in there. The banana. I don't know if you can tell. I'm going to keep poking it. <laughs> the light bulb is blinking. A banana conducts electricity. A banana conducts electricity. Yes, it does. How strange is that? Making a mess. Water and bananas. Next up, apple. I don't have an apple, so we're going to scratch apple off. I do have a potato. There's a potato. We're going to do the same thing. Let's test the skin of the potato. I don't see any light flickering there. Let's open the potato up. Put the conductor in. Look at that. A potato conducts electricity. What do you think? But you didn't expect that. A potato and a banana conduct electricity. So let's check off yes. Potatoes conduct electricity. I don't have a lemon. Okay, so now we're getting down to the last few items here. Wire number one, there's a piece of wire. Clip one end to that, one end to this. And yep. The wire conducts electricity. It's a copper wire. Now notice the copper wire has a plastic or rubber covering on it. And if I can connect to the plastic, it does not conduct electricity. Yes for wire number one. Wire number two. I won't clip this one. What do you think? Yes, wire number two conducts electricity. Yes for number two, wire number two. Set that to the side. Wire number three. Wire number three conducts electricity. There we go, okay. So wire conducts electricity. Insulators do not. Last thing I'm gonna test says people. People. I've been holding these the whole time. I am not conducting electricity through there. This battery is very, very low powered. So in this activity with this battery, I am not conducting electricity, but I promise you <laughs> people do conduct electricity. That's why you have to be safe. All right, guys, so we went through this list. We identified a bunch of materials that conducted electricity, a bunch of materials that did not conduct electricity. We talked about safety. Remember, water and electricity do not mix. Um, be very, very careful around water. Be very careful around household appliances. Again, this is one that's not connected to anything. Be really careful. Don't stick your fingers in there. That can injure you.